Welcome everyone to the first episode in a five-part series where I will be building an 1820s Georgian estate based on a real place I visited last summer, Arlington Court. I was captivated by its beautiful structure, delicately decorated interiors and its vast and gorgeous gardens and surrounding fields. In this episode, I will be building the exterior of the house, trying to keep it as accurate to the time period as possible while still being creative in the design. This video took me incredibly long to make and a lot of my Voxwork money, so I would really appreciate a sub or a like if you do like the video, not now, but after you watched it, of course. So anyways, here are some of the pictures that I took when I visited that I will be using as the reference for this build. So the first thing I did was raise the whole thing up one floor so we can have like a walkway up to the building so it kind of feels like the building is looking down on you just so that you know that extra rich people live there. I also just wanted to do some landscaping and it didn't really turn out great. I don't really know how to do landscaping but this was the best I can do and I did cover it all with plants later so you can't really tell in the end. This building consists of two main parts, the grey dark grey stone and the lighter grey stone. The coolest part of the building I think are the pillars at the front and the round balcony. It was probably the most difficult part to build, although I'll get to that part later. To add some like difference between this middle section and the other section, I actually raised the roof up like a bunch and I made it almost like a meter higher than the other roof, even though they're both like three floors high, just so that it adds some difference and I added like this trim with basic shape. The first kind of interesting bit that I built was the entrance and at this point I really realize the scope of this build. Spending over 100,000 Bloxburg dollars on just the walls and the entrance, it was clear that this was going to be my biggest build in Bloxburg yet. It was these plant pot things that were the most expensive. They were built completely out of basic shapes and I even use tiny spheres and ovals to decorate the edges and if you play Bloxburg you'll know those things are pricey. This was probably also the first time I ever used those corner wedge pieces. I truly never thought I would ever need to use those but here we are. Stonework was a big part of Georgian architecture. The archways, the window details, the doors, and just the building itself was often built or carved out of stone. That's also probably one of the reasons why they took so long to build. I think Arlington Court took like three years? So, quite long. A lot of you may not know much about the Georgian era, so I'll give you a quick overview based on my knowledge I got while just viewing the Wikipedia page real quick. So the Georgian era spanned over around 120 years, from the year 1714 to 1837. It's named after the Hanoverian, Hanoverian? Hanoverian kings. George the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. Yes, they all have the same name. They just kept naming their kids after themselves or something. I don't really know. But it works well because it kind of puts the whole era into like one piece and it's just like easier for people like me who, well, I'm not a history buff, it's safe to say. I'm more of like a sciencey, maths, artsy kind of person. The Georgian era was known for the emergence of the Gothic revival style inspired by buildings from ancient Greek and Roman architecture. And the romantic poets such as Percy Bysshe Shelley and William Wordsworth and William Blake. I always get confused between the Williams. You may know them if you did GCSE English. That's where I know them from at least. Obviously 120 years is a long time and I won't bore you by telling you everything that happened because I am not a historian and frankly I cannot be bothered. So back to the build. The next part I focused on was the door, the front door, and this took like a really long time to make, just a door, because I made the whole thing custom. And I used this picture from my book that I actually bought in Arlington Court for like three pounds, it was super cheap. And it even has like a little bit at the front, which was written by the queen herself, rest in peace. Now that I'm thinking about it though, I realized I forgot to put on a door handle, that's awkward. Yeah, anyways, I just made it out of basic shapes and structurals and I just copy pasted it to make the second door. Around the door was a marble decorative pillar and arch structure that I also stole from my book. As the door is not functional, I made sure to leave it open because I want the inside to be accessible, of course. We will be starting on the interior soon, so you guys can look forward to that because that will be coming soon. Although I can't guarantee you that it will be soon soon because this video took a whole month to make, <laughs> guys. It's because of school, I'm just so busy. 
But uh, next I moved on to the balcony. As I mentioned before, this was very difficult for me, at least. I used a roof and then some basic shapes to make this half circle shape, and then I used more basic shapes to add details. This was so hard and confusing, and it's a little bit wonky up close, but from afar I think it looks good. I wanted to create some custom fencing, as ironwork is another significant thing in this building style. I also used my book as a reference for this. This picture I'll put it on the screen right now. I used a piece of glass when I was building it in Bloxburg, which obviously would not be there in real life, but I just did it to make the building process easier. Although it did make it super expensive really really expensive and I'm gonna be honest during this whole build just the exterior I had to stop like four times to go get more money because I just kept running out yeah but for the fences I just put down structurals and just transformed it into place and then I just copy pasted it around the bar bathroom the balcony sorry so let's move on to the windows so on the two different parts of the house that i mentioned earlier there were different windows on the reference i mean on the actual building on the dark gray smooth stoned one the windows were simpler but on the lighter stone walls they had some stonework around them which i made custom as well because i love making things custom i basically just copied the windows from arlington court as best as i could because to be honest when i try to make my own window designs they always end up looking really odd to do the stonework i used the technique i used in my realistic cottage video <laughs> self promo <laughs> don't mind me i just transformed these smooth cubes uh Wait, are they actually called smooth cubes? I don't actually remember, but I resized them and then transformed them into place around the window. Although this time it was a little bit more difficult because of the curved top bits. I don't know why, but I always find windows that are curved uh, at the top a lot nicer than just the rectangular ones. It's such like a small detail, but it really makes such a big difference in buildings. Like if you're trying to make these windows yourself, make sure that everything is attached to the original window. So from the start, like keep checking throughout. That's what I do because it's such a pain when you get to the end and you can't copy and paste it because it wasn't attached. So make sure to do that. Just like a little tip from me. So yeah, I just copy pasted it around the building. Yeah, I ran out of money like twice just during these windows. But you know, it's for the video guys. It's for YouTube, it's for you guys. But imagine having to do every single window individually. I know there's definitely people out there that have the patience and the dedication to do things like that. But I know that I could never do that. My attention span is very limited. For the other type of windows, just so that they didn't feel left out, I gave them something interesting about them. Them, I made the walls around them come out a little bit because I really really don't like it when windows are pushed up against the wall so it's just like flat you know other than that I say there wasn't much left to do other than color everything in I always do that at the end by the way just so you guys don't leave <laughs> no it's actually just because I find it easier but uh yeah the colors I just kind of tried to match them as best as I could to the reference it wasn't really it wasn't that accurate but it was fine and it ended up looking okay in the end I also added some details on some of the sides and these stone trims on the corners of the building using the same method I used around the windows you know Overall, I just try to add interesting details all around so it looks good from every single angle because I'm actually putting effort in this video, guys. I'm not gonna leave the, black, the back looking blank like I usually do. For the texture, I use those painted bricks, which I don't remember ever existing in Boxburg, so like it felt like I hit a gold mine or something because why are they so gorgeous? Okay, you might be like thinking wow that's so weird how could you love a texture so much but it's just so good it's like subtle but like a slight bit of texture it's just i love it so much and i will be using it in every build from now on although i have to say boxburg has kind of been lacking in the stone textures department we could definitely use some more stone ones or nicer stone ones at least okay so that's it for the structure but now let's move on to the surrounding area so as I mentioned before, one of my favorite parts of the estate that I visited was the nature around the building. Obviously, I won't be building the whole garden in this video because I will be dedicating a whole episode towards that. And trust me, it's gonna be epic. But I am going to be building, or rather landscaping, the front of the build and the path leading up. I used a mixture of trees, the organic ones and the spruce trees with lots of flowers and plants, and custom rock structures. These were just made using the basic shapes as little cuboid structures. I even added the fireflies and little lights around just for the vibes. Obviously they wouldn't have electronic lights in the 1800s, <laughs> but it's just so that it looks good in the dark, okay? But honestly, I absolutely love 
love the fireflies. They are so cute. And in all my recent builds, like the cottage and the camper van I did with Daisy, I feel like I've been doing so much landscaping. And as much as I hate to say this, I might actually be starting to like it. I know, I know, crazy, but it's true. So yeah, that's the end of the commentary. I didn't really expect. I feel like it's a bit short. But anyway, the cinematic shots will be coming up really soon. But first, I just wanted to say that this is slightly a new style of video for me and that I've been wanting to try for a while. So I would really like some feedback on the editing and things and your opinion on the video in general. Uh, thank you for watching. Now enjoy the reveal.